I work uh, on 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 fisheries, but I also work on the physiology of fish growth, and and uh, you could say that's very erot esoteric. And, and but uh, fish breathe water, right? And there is no no very little oxygen in the water, so they have to work the to work the head off <laughs> to to get the to get the water across the mouth that uh, that they can extract the oxygen that they need now that is the work that they have to do and on the other hand for them for fish it's very easy to grab something to eat but once they have eaten something a big uh, smaller fish they still have to burn it to link it with oxygen right well they have to extract from the water so the big work is not catching a catching a prey the big work is getting the oxygen out of the water into their bodies the gills are very efficient about 80 percent is being extracted but but moving that water is lots of work what i want to say is they you find that in biology the people have projected our mammal consideration, which is we have to eat lots of food so in order to maintain our own temperature at a high level. Why, that's the reason why we are not like reptile eating eating every six weeks. We, we need to eat all the time. And so food is the thing. But fish, it's not the thing. The thing is for them is is breathing. And and you can see the, the problem they have with breathing in that they are moving now rapidly toward the poles because the temperature gets higher. It's true that there is less oxygen in the water, but the important thing is that fish um, have don't have their own temperature. They, they, their own temperature is that of the water. And then the water temperature increase, they, they need more oxygen. And the thing is not, the problem is not so much that they get that the oxygen there is less oxygen in the water it's true but the big problem is that they need more when when the water is warm so they have a double whammy uh, they need more oxygen and there is less in it now you find though that most most doctor work and uh, and thesis work that students do is about food is about the, the the fish feeding. Well, the problem is breathing. And now it's being realized now because of global warming that fish have a problem breathing. And that's the reason, for example, why they move toward cooler water, water that remains cool, to toward the poles. And and so, but in the literature, you find all kind of questions that people ask themselves. Are they moving uh, in the North Hemisphere to the North, toward the North? Uh, are they moving because there is more food there? No, they're moving there because they just want to breathe. The, most of the ocean is getting warmer. And uh, that uh, causes the fish to, to want to move poleward uh, in the South. And you can see this. Uh, uh, I don't know if if it's one degree here or there, but in the U.S. you you get fish now in New York that before in was uh, were in Florida, in B.C. where I live, you get fish now that way before in California, in Australia you get in Sydney fish that way before in in Brisbane. Basically, my work on on this oxygen problem um, was was my dissertation about 40 years ago and it was totally ignored and now it's it's because of global warming that uh, that uh, is is being revived and it's getting at, at some attention it's it is uh, it breaks your heart because the other stuff that i do about uh, about shifting bench line about uh, fishing down marine food web and so on these are these are obvious things these are trivial things in in a sense but but the the oxygen thing is a is the most subtle thing that, and you can think about it only if you get rid of this mammalian bias that we have that food is everything large fish are the ones that are most that have most trouble because the surface area of the gill divided by the weight is uh, lowest the, the, the norwegian are quite explicit about it about it this is one country that uh, is uh, located in high latitude that will see 
for a while the the an increase of the of the biodiversity and a, uh, an increase of the major stocks of fish, whereas uh, other countries, for example, in the tropics, they 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 are the losers again because uh, the fish that that leave the water are not being replaced by any. If you present the the fish catchers predicted fish catchers in latitudinal zones, the the cold temperate countries will benefit and uh, the warm and uh, tropical and subtropical countries will will be um will be devastated fishery wise and you can see that uh, on for example um the on our coast the 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 salmon in california are wiped out right they they are gone they in Washington and Oregon, they are not doing well. In BC, they are not doing well. But in Alaska, they're doing very well. And in 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 Arctic Alaska, there are salmon runs that are establishing themselves, and the Inuit don't know about them because they don't have they didn't have salmon before. So it, it is happening. This 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 transition is already happening, and. Uh, with salmon is is very visible because because uh, this is there is a major industry built built around salmon. If you go to a country like like Britain, they fish now fish that that were before in Spain, and the Spaniard fish before that that were in Morocco. And in other words, the the catch composition of the 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 composition of the catch has already changed, and we have we published in in 2013 a paper in Nature which which we call the mean temperature of the catch the 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 concept and basically you you assign to each fish species a preferred temperature which which is uh, which is very stable and you can compute then the mean temperature of the catch which is the the catch multiplied with the temperature of of that fish and uh, you average it over all species and you 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 can see in all countries of the world in most countries of the world the the mean temperature of the catch in start picking up in the 70s and the 80s the fish were very much smarter than us they picked up very early and it it the hockey stick, the famous hockey stick that man and, and others, you, you, can, you can see the fish doing it. 